Welcome, Asuka-san! Hello, honeys! Today we're talking all about Angel Lee Sugar. From its real-life inspirations to chords you've probably never even heard of, I found everything there is to know. There will be spoilers for Aikatsu and Aikatsu on Parade, so if that's okay with you, let's get started. First, I want to say that I missed one of my favorite Angel Lee Sugar chords in my Angel Lee Sugar ranking. Here is Royal, right here, and I missed it! Look, I'm even wearing it. I would have put it in 5th place, by the way, right under Shining Angel Lee Line. Anyways... Angel Lee Sugar is a combination of two Japanese fashion subcultures, Sweet Lolita fashion and girly fashion. There is no public information about the design inspiration for any Aikatsu chords, but anime staff have mentioned referencing popular fashion magazines for the character's casual clothing. This is likely the case for the branded designs as well, with each brand referencing different Japanese fashion subcultures. In the official series guidebook, character designer Yaguchi Hiroko says, I refer to current fashion trends and various magazines. I also look at visual K magazines that I don't usually read, as well as unique Harajuku Gothic and Lolita magazines. I put up a list of fashion magazines that were active and popular at the time in Japan, but the main ones for Angel Lee Sugar were most likely Fruits and Gothic and Lolita Bible. These magazines were the most well-known distributors of Sweet Lolita Fashion, which is the closest real-life equivalent to the fictional brand. Unfortunately, the 2010s era of Fruits is the least documented, with little to no surviving examples of Lolita Fashion in online archives. Sweet Lolita Fashion is a Japanese style subculture under the Lolita Fashion umbrella. It has a distinct silhouette and uses specific combinations of pieces to create a full outfit, which is typically referred to as a cord or coordinate. Sweet refers to the bright and youthful aesthetic of the fashion. Angel Lee Sugar itself is a reference to the real Sweet Lolita brand, Angelic Pretty. The character Amahane Asuka is a reference to one of its head designers, who is also named Asuka. Other Lolita fashion brands that may have been indirectly referenced in Angel Lee Sugar designs through their inclusion in magazines include Baby the Star Shine Bright, Metamorphose Dame de Fil, Innocent World, and more. However, it should be noted that most Angel Lee Sugar chords would fit into casual Lolita fashion rather than sweet. This is because sweet Lolita fashion has specific standards that Angel Lee Sugar chords generally don't adhere to. The pieces may be sweet inspired, but the execution is a lot more casual. I'm not an expert on Lolita fashion myself, so I learned a lot of this information from Lovely Lord's channel for this video. I highly recommend that you check them out if you're interested in learning more about this fashion. The brand's secondary inspiration is girly fashion, which is a broad umbrella substyle that covers many feminine fashion niches. The designers may have referenced magazines like Pop Teen and brands like Anc Rouge, Liz Lisa, Dream V slash Yume Tembo, Candy Rain, and Bulb on 21. When researching these fashions, keep in mind that the original Aikatsu series production period was between 2012 and 2015. It may be worth looking at older pieces if you're interested in recreating any specific styles from the show. By combining the more exaggerated Sweet Lolita fashion with more casual girly fashion, Aikatsu's designers established a style that seems fantastical without being completely unfamiliar to its audience. Because of this, Angel Lee Sugar offers stepping stones to being more experimental with fashion. The pieces are bright and cheerful, whether they're a simple t-shirt and skirt, or a fully decorated macaron dress. Within the Aikatsu universe, Angel Lee Sugar is one of the oldest brands, founded 180 years before Ichigo enters Starlight Academy. If we're setting the show in 2012 when it first aired, that would place the brand's founding date in 1832, toward the end of Japan's Edo period. This would mean that Angel Lee Sugar was founded before kimonos had even been invented with kosode being the dominant style at the time. We don't know for sure that Angel Lee Sugar was always a fashion brand, but Ichigo does say that the old map shows where the designer lives. Assuming that it was a fashion brand from the beginning, 180 years gives us at least three generations of top designers, assuming each generation works a full 60 years. The current top designer is Amahane Asuka, with no other designers being known. The brand has two main headquarters, the original building on Angel Lee Mountain, which currently serves as Asuka's home and studio, and Angel Lee Tower, which is a downtown office that houses the brand's business operations. Angel Lee Mountain includes the peak of a mountain surrounded by cliffs, with grounds encompassing a large forested area. There is an elevator system to reach the top, where the main building is surrounded by gardens. In contrast, Angel Lee Tower is a standalone 23-story skyscraper, similar to other brand headquarters. Asuka's staff include her gardener, Shoichi Furusaki, as well as multiple unnamed office workers and advertising staff. We may not know too much about the history of Angel Lee Sugar, but Asuka is featured pretty often within the anime. Even then, most of her history is unknown, and the earliest we see her is when she'd already become a top designer and create Angel Lee Bear for her children. She has a very nurturing personality and values diligence, passion, quality, and happiness. She went on to make more Angel Lee Bears for family and friends before creating them for fans, and eventually turned the bear into the brand's mascot character. Each Angel Lee Bear is handmade by Asuka so that she can convey her personal feelings through them. Asuka's motherly approach extends to idols as well. She supports them through her designs with the goal of giving them as much strength as possible. In her own words, an idol bets her life on every performance. 
From the moment she steps on stage, no helping hand can reach her. I need to create a dress fit to be donned on that stage. That's why I too must stake my life on making her dresses. I can't leave a single ounce of energy unspent. At the same time, she values the dedication of idols and evaluates them seriously. She says, every idol that visits me comes with a steel resolve. They resolve both for the pain if I were to refuse as well as the pressure they must shoulder should I not. They train to their limits and when they finally come to see me, some idols even climb that precipitous cliff to demonstrate their resolve. In response to those idols, I must suppress all of my past dresses and create a true masterpiece. That's why I use all of my power until the very end. Because of the popularity of Angelie Sugar, Asuka can't meet the needs of everyone who comes to see her. She understands that this puts her in a position to either help an idol or become an obstacle to them. This is why she has such high standards for herself and is very selective when choosing who to commit her time and energy to. Despite this selectiveness, Asuka has served as a mentor to several characters within the Aikatsu timeline. During Masquerade's career, Asuka serves as a mentor to Ringo, Ichigo's mother. Ringo often visited Angel Lee Mountain to talk to Asuka about the idol industry, about Angel Lee Sugar, outfit coordination, and how to compete using the spirit of Aikatsu. In these sessions, Asuka also gave her deeper insight into how to forge her own path through life and pursue her own happiness, ultimately supporting Ringo's decision to retire from her idol career and open her own bento shop. Several years after this, Asuka would welcome the arrival of her granddaughter, Madoka. It is implied that Asuka was in a slight creative decline at this time, as she tells Madoka later, Whenever we were together, I saw even everyday sights in a new light. You show me a new world. You inspired me to continue making dresses. Because of their close relationship, Madoka became inspired by Asuka's dedication to idols and would go on to become an idol herself. Asuka always gave her warm support, but also the space to make her own decisions and develop a more mature relationship to her work. By this time, Asuka had already served as a mentor to Tsubasa Sena. Sena was very young at the time, still being in middle school, but she still took him on as a student and taught him to design clothes. When he was ready, she also encouraged him to start his own brand. She tells him, It is only when you complete a premium dress that you can be proud of that you become a true top designer. And when he finally does complete one, she attends his debut performance to support him. While teaching Sena, Asuka met her muse, Hoshime Ichigo. Initially, Ichigo caught her attention by scaling the cliffs of Angelie Mountain to ask for a premium air dress. When Asuka accepted her request, she said, I don't believe that angels appear just anyone. I'm sure that they only appear to those who try their best to shine. I want the outfits I create to be worn by those who put their hearts into what they do. They're perfect for you. Later, Asuka would attend the Nostalgic Melody competition and see Ichigo performing with Ringo's Starlight Tiara. Recognizing the connection between the two, Asuka scouts Ichigo to star in an Angelie Bear commercial, and from this point on treats her as her muse. She designed Star Festival for Ichigo to match Ringo's Starlight Tiara, and is happy to see the mother and daughter pair doing Aikatsu together. Later, she and Ichigo would design the Bless Aurora Accord together in Aikatsu on Parade. Asuka is also shown to have a humble attitude toward younger designers despite her seniority. She is shown collaborating with swing rock designer Makina on unit dresses for twings, an opportunity she accepts without hesitation. This is another example of how she welcomes future generations and finds a place for them in her work. In Aikatsu on Parade, Asuka personally teaches Rocky to design a dress. When Rocky tells her that she was inspired by Ichigo's Mermaid Pisces cord, Asuka welcomes her enthusiasm and praises her design sensibilities. However, she also firmly rejects Rocky's request to make the design. Instead, she puts her through rounds of critique and allows her to work overnight in Asuka's own workshop. When Rocky's design finally meets her standards, she is allowed to complete it. Asuka would then scout Noelle for her next premium rare, making Noelle the first and only idol in the anime to receive Asuka's support without first climbing the cliffs of Angelie Mountain. As the oldest and largest brand, Angelie Sugar is a pillar of the in-universe fashion industry. Asuka plays an active role in raising several generations of both idols and designers. While her brand owes a lot to its long history, her role as a successful businesswoman and artist is also likely to be an important factor in its popularity. She is involved in every aspect of her brand, from handmaking Angelie Bears Before Christmas, to personally overseeing commercial shoots and ensuring the comfort of those around her. Angelie Sugar fits into the Aikatsu system as a cute type brand. From the official website, its official description is roughly translated as Dressed to maximize the attractiveness of a girl. With frills, ribbons, and feathers in the motif, there are lots of designs such as the magic that makes everyone become lovely. As you wear Angelie Sugar on your first date, your boyfriend will also feel the legends. Please slowly enjoy the magic of angels. From that description, we see a lot of core elements of the brand. Traditionally feminine motifs, fantastical elements suggesting mythical figures, and a broad variety of styles. In fact, Angelie Sugar has the largest number of cords in the franchise, with the largest number of premium rare dresses and involvement in the most special collections. The exact numbers may be hard to follow, so try to keep up! You're probably aware that the Aikatsu anime is based on an arcade game in which you collect physical clothing cards. There were 98 official Angelie Sugar cords released in card form from the original game, with 6 more added in the Aikatsu on Parade generation for a total of 104 Angelie Sugar cords. Only 33 of these cords were represented in the original anime, all of which are shown in my Angelie Sugar ranking video with two more being shown in Aikatsu on Parade. 
34 of the 104 chords are different color variants of each other, leaving us with 70 unique Angley Sugar designs. I won't list every chord here, but I will list the special ones in case anyone is looking for a comprehensive list. You can find every chord in the Aikatsu and all Aikatsu wikis linked in the description. For premium mirrors, we have Aurora Kiss, Star Festival, Mermaid Pisces, Angel Gemini, Lilac Berry, Angel Alice, Blush Aurora, and Graceful Rose. Angel Sugar's official constellation is Pisces, as well as half of Gemini, which it shares with Swing Rock. Its main dream story is Alice's adventures in Wonderland, but it also has cores under Pinocchio, The Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan, and Arabian Nights. Its main romance story is Sleeping Beauty, and also has cores under The Little Mermaid and Snow White. For Boom Collections, it has jewelry and party deco. And finally, Angel Sugar's fever cores are Shining Angel Line, Pastel Pink Pearl, Dandelion Check, Blooming Blossom, and Angel Star. The brand even collaborated with former AKB48 member Shimazaki Haruka to create the Pastel Sugar Chord. But what if I told you that there was even more Angel Sugar out there? Well, if you played the mobile game Aikatsu Photo on stage, you might not be surprised. The game was entirely separate from the rest of the franchise, so its designers had free reign to create designs that may have been too difficult to recreate in animation. The result was 81 unique, exclusive, and extremely creative Angel Sugar dresses. I'm showing a few of my favorites on screen here, but let me know if you'd be interested in a Photokatsu ranking video. I don't think it's a fair comparison with the original design, since the design philosophy is so different for these, but I'd love to talk about them in more detail if there's interest. Altogether, there are 185 official Angel Sugar cords. That's excluding Baby Pink Frill, which is technically brandless, and the Angel Sister spin-off unit brand from Aikatsu on Parade, which has three more cords. If you love Angel Sugar, make sure to check out my Angel Sugar ranking video next, and look out for my Happy Rainbow ranking next week. Bye bye! Let's see! Cut!